Our faculty are already making exciting fundamental discoveries and doing important applied research under less than optimal conditions. I've been at the university for 23 years and, and we've known for that length of time at least that our facilities are outdated and so there are just structural issues that, that get in the way. We have people doing cutting edge research in optics, in quantum information and control, in radio astronomy, and they have a really difficult time taking their research to the next step of, of excellence because right now they're working in a facility that simply doesn't have the modern advances in, in research facility and laboratory facility that, that they need to do the kind of work they need to do. So we are here in one of our research laboratories. Uh, students and professors built detectors for high energy physics. And you can see some of our problems on the wall where you see signs of roof leaks. So to mitigate that and still do cutting edge research, they built these uh, plastic tents to protect the equipment. In this particular lab, we didn't have any airflow. So we had to provide airflow for this chiller to keep our cryostat cool. So we had to get creative and we're able to get airflow to keep this equipment functioning. So we have very embarrassing outdated old restroom facilities, uh, dirty, too small, and definitely not what you expect from a top research facility. I'm really thirsty here after this uh, interview and I'd like to get a drink of water. Well, I guess I can really get a drink. Maybe I could take a shower here. This is going to be a transformative building for the college and for the university. It will have a variety of interdisciplinary scientific centers that are really at the forefront of their various fields and are doing path-breaking research. That will be extraordinary both for what it can tell us about the world, but also provide extraordinary opportunities for our students. We're going to be able to do absolutely top-notch research and involve our students in the research and train our students to be researchers themselves. So when they're going out and looking for jobs, they are going to be able to say, hey, I worked with this state-of-the-art equipment with these top-notch people, and that's going to put them in a good position to go out and have their own careers. The resources from Bonsi will allow us to do transformative science and provide an opportunity for us to provide extraordinary service to the people of the state.